Hello everyone, this is Chris Brooks from Rift Sticks Game Studio, and this is Catacomb Crashers. We have a few more um, monsters uh, abilities done. We have the uh, ability for the Cyclops and the ability for the Yeti. So the Cyclops in mythology would throw huge stones at ships and sink them, and uh, so we figured throwing stones might be Ralph's uh, Ralph, in this case, is the Cyclops. The Cyclops is a uh, special ability. So as you can see here, you've got the Cyclops. His name is Ralph. And he can throw rocks. So he's coming down here, and he's going and throwing his rock. Um, if the energy, it takes two energy to throw a rock, and a rock does two damage, and it goes until it hits something. So that's how that works. So... Um, if he doesn't have the energy to throw the rock, it's very simple, he will rest. What rest does is it returns, it gives the monster one energy back. Or if their energy is at max when they rest and their health is low, it'll actually give them one health back. So it gives you energy and then health. But anyway, he'll go ahead and rest if he can't throw his rock. Very simple. He just throws rocks or don't throw his rocks. And um, otherwise... This should really never be hit, but if it did, he would just go in a normal forward turn right loop. Um, we've also added, as you can see here, we already had it, but he's wrapped in a try catch. So if, if he's going to, uh, if this for some reason would throw an error, it would land here, which would give him a rest action, but it would send this notification flag back to the system, which would be giving me the message of the error. A color for the uh, for the message in this case blue or I'm sorry in this case yellow and uh, so many milliseconds for the message which is 60 seconds which is a extremely long time um, so that the, you could see it happening on the screen um, hopefully we won't fall into that block though so we won't be able to see that today but you will be able to see him throw his rocks um, now we got Bumble. Bumble is a Yeti. He's kind of named after the Yeti in Red Nose, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, Bumble was the abominable snowman. Um, so here he is. He has a much more complex, the most complex uh, logic that we have for any monster at this time. Um, let's go through this and we'll show you. Um, before we do, let's go back to Monster Brain Base. The Monster Brain Base has added a method called Monsters in Range. You pass it a map, yourself, or any monster, whatever. Um, a range, and whether you should ignore melee or not. Meaning, it's going to try to find any monsters within the range you give it that are targetable, based upon the facing of the monster and it'll ignore the space that's right next to the monster because you just attack that with a normal attack so so it's got a couple ways to call it and i'm not going to go through its logic but there it is so that comes into play because bumble uses that so bumble has a couple actions he has a throw snowball action which is very similar to the throw rock action of the cyclops except it does only one damage and only costs one energy. Um, but he also has this method called Freeze Breath. Freeze Breath will attack any monster that's next, that's in front of him. Any monsters there will be frozen. A frozen monster cannot take any actions for a certain number of rounds. In the case of Freeze Breath, it is three. So three rounds, no actions, and they turn into a little ice cube. It's kind of cool. Um, kind of cool. Well, I didn't mean to make a pun there. Um, so anyway, he freezes whatever is in front of him. And uh, to accommodate that monster now uh, shows whether they're a flying monster, which we don't have any flyers right now. A slinking monster, which we'll explain in the future. And as you see, it's an int for frozen. That's how many rounds, how many turns it's going to be frozen. So let's go back to Bumble. Now, once he's done this, he says, okay, if, should I freeze? I'll see if I shouldn't freeze, um, then should I throw a snowball? Um, so 
if there's no monsters in range, then I'm not going to throw a snowball. So if I'm not going to do any of that stuff, should I just attack or push the monster in front of me? So he's going to look for pushing ability to push it. He's going to say, okay, I'm going to push it. If I find one and it's next to a pit, I'm going to go ahead and push it forward. Otherwise, I'm just going to go a basic attack, which is a free attack. It just attacks the first monster it finds for one damage. So if there were no monsters in front of me, I'm going to go ahead and if I'm less than three energy, I'm going to go ahead and rest. Otherwise, I'm going to look for a monster in range that might not be in front of me, but he might be around me. So I'm going to look for the next monster around me. I'm going to, so I'm going to first say, okay, I'm going to look for monsters in range. If I do not find any monsters in range, or actually if I do find a monster, then I'm going to move forward to that monster in range. If I don't find a monster directly in front of me, like a few spaces away, um, then I'm going to go ahead and turn to my right. I'm going to say now if I'm over the west, I need to turn that back because as you see, west is a value of three. If I turn to the right, that might be a value of four, which doesn't exist in the monster facing enum. So I'm going to make a west turn into a north. Okay. So then I go, okay, make the same call, check to see if it's in range. And you, I could do this a lot simpler, but I'm doing it this way mainly for to show as an example. Um, it probably better as a recursion. But anyway, I look to the right, and then if there was a monster to my right that I could target, I'm going to turn to the right. If there was no monster to my right, I'm going to face again, and I'm going to look behind me. If there's a monster behind me, I'm going to turn back. Then finally, if there's no monster behind me, there's no monster to my right, I'm going to look to my left. If I find a monster to my left, I'm going to move there. Otherwise, if none of that happens, I didn't find any monsters at all, I'm just going to go ahead and move forward. So that's his logic. As you see, it's a lot more complex than others. And... Uh, as you can see, he's got the same uh, try-catch right there. So, okay, so given that, that is how mon their monster brains work for Bumble and for Ralph. So let's go over here to the game. Down here, we have added this little button down here in the corner. Um, it's got a little monster with a border around it. It's going to show the colors of the monsters are going to show as an outline around all of the monsters so that it's easily distinguishable between the player and the monster. You could see if you don't like that, you can turn it off. The selected monster will still show as the flashing selected border, so you won't lose out on that. But that's it. That's uh, it's a good way of knowing, OK, that's blue. That's that's the blue player's monster. So um, we'll leave it on for now. Other thing I've added just for this is there's a little, if you notice with the players, there's a little space next to their character, uh, next to the monster. And that little space is used for a power-up uh, symbol image so that you could see what power-up that monster has. Um, this, we haven't introduced power-ups yet, but there'll be many types of power-ups between shields, bombs, uh, energy, health, lives, all kinds of different power-ups. And if they're a power-up you can trigger on the, on the map, it shows up in there. But what, we're, what have we just done is we're using that right now to show whose turn it is. So you can see, you can watch the turns as they go through. So those are the two main things we're doing right now. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do with this, this map right here, and I'm going to run it. Okay, so as you see, um, it is now Franny, Bumble, Ralph, Larry. Okay, those whose turn it is. So they're fighting. So Bumble is going to freeze. So as you see, he froze. I don't have a particle effect going on right there, but he froze Frank, and Frank is now an ice cube. So he'll be an ice cube for three turns. Uh, Ralph just threw a rock. And I'll, on the second map, you'll be able to see that more. Um, 
Bumble just froze the dino, so he's frozen solid. He's just an ice cube. And then uh, Bumble decided to attack Frank. They're just pushing Rex around. That was a double team between <laughs> Bumble and Ralph. So then as you can see here, we've also increased some things. The cat, Franny has nine lives and one health because she's a cat. Um, Ralph, she'll also have the slink ability, which I haven't described yet. Um, Ralph is a Cyclops, so he has five health because he's stronger. Um, let's see. Rex will have more health as well. And uh, Bumble will have more health as well, but they don't right now. So as you can see, they're battling it out. Doing their own, their own thing. So let's just let it play through and see who wins here. And as you see, they have their borders around them, but you could still go in and uh, highlight the ones you want and see them in real time. I mean, in first person. So there you go. And as you can see, they're still, that all still works. So the next uh, map is called Dodgeball. It's for, let's just, it's really just sh to show you uh, how Bumble travels around the board in a much, you know, gives him a lot more room to maneuver. So we can watch how Bumble takes care of things when he doesn't have things in front of him. So let's check him out. So Bumble's in the upper right corner. So he turned, he didn't have anyone in front of him, so he turned to the left. Now he's going to just shoot it uh, at uh, Ralph because Ralph is uh, sitting there. And Ralph has uh, three, has five health. So here comes Bumble. Ralph's just shooting anyone indirectly in front of him. So Ralph's kind of a sitting duck at this point. <laughs> Stepped in the line of fire there. Okay, so now Bumble is resting. So he sees his energy went up one because he didn't have the power to shoot at, at Ralph. Now with intelligent monsters, obviously the more intelligent they are, the less they're going to be falling off the edge of the world and they'll be able to accommodate more, uh, each other more so that you'll have uh, pretty much fair and even but intelligent battles. So the cat only has one health, so he died with one hit, but he has nine lives, so it's like having three health. Especially in a push environment, the cat comes into play. It's very, uh, it's very good for the cat because he's got nine lives and a push. When there's more pushing going on than anything else, he'll tend to survive longer than, than others that have gotten shot. So we have uh, Ralph again in the front of him. So you're not getting to see him move very much right now because he uh, he's right there in, a, in that path. But once he clears him out, he should start to move around. Bumble's got to rest a little bit because he's on. He doesn't have any health, any energy left. So as you see, Ralph, Frankie, Franny, Larry, Bumble. So Ralph's got two health left.
Now he has one health left, and he'll be back again. So if he falls on the other side of the map, then uh, then you'll see Bumble move. So there he goes, and he went on to the other side, so Bumble will move. After, well, Bumble will rest three times, and then he'll move. Or he'll shoot uh, Rex first. Yeah. And then if we want to look at it in first person, just for fun. <laughs> so Bumble's now at three energy guy's right in front of him so what's he gonna do he freezes Frankie then he's gonna attack Frankie and then he had just attacked him till he died very nice so now he's gonna rest get himself up to three again So now he should turn to the right because Franny is to his right. And there he is. He turned to the right. Saw Franny, so he will shoot Franny. There he goes. He saw Larry, so he's going to go that way. Might get hit by uh, Ralph a couple times. Payback. He's resting, so. Getting pushed around. Shot Franny. <laughs> there he comes again. He got jumped over. Now he's going to focus on. Larry. Let's go ahead and show you. There's the <laughs> the ice ball, the snowball. Boom. Okay, so he's resting to get his energy back. Okay, now he doesn't have anyone around him, so he's going to go ahead and try to find somebody. Which he knows he's over there, but he doesn't want in his path. So he's just going to come down here next to him. Or maybe not. Maybe he's going to come straight down on him because he saw the cat and got distracted. So here he goes. Boom. They're going to trade, but uh, I think Bumble's going to get the bad end of the stick here. And actually, it looks like uh, Ralph's going to win. Nope, Bumble's got... Yeah, Bumble will still win. He's going to turn left. Boom. Nothing Ralph can do. Take those last two. Now he's going to turn around. Well, he's going to rest up. Then he's going to turn around. Or, I guess not. He's going to go straight. So, it's who's going to fall off the edge of the earth? Oh, now he's going to back up. There he goes. So, boom. He's happy. He won. So, as you can see, they're getting much more involved. They have much more uh, abilities now. So, it's, uh, it's coming along very well. So, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time.